In this episode of Gas Garage, Josh and Michael will be converting a pickup into a pickup bed trailer. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Previously on Gas Garage. There it goes. Now that we've got that cab out of the way, we need to do a little bit of cleanup. We recently disassembled another truck, so we'll go ahead and get rid of two cabs in one run. Robert Hubbard gear running the backhoe helps load the trailer with both of the cabs and it's off to the scrap yard. Before we do that, first we gotta get this truck in position. To do that, we've got the Cadillac Escalade. Sounds like the Titanic sinking. It's our bumper car. Now, we didn't do all that damage to this Cadillac Escalade. We actually purchased it this way from a wrecking yard that used this as a bumper car, just like we're using it here. So it's not all our fault, the damage to this Escalade. But be sure to stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and right. see what we have in store for this Escalade here. This will be coming up in a future episode. This Cadillac Escalade will not look the same All right, just a ever push. again. That looks pretty good. Perfect. One more. Oh, you're going to put that into the thing there. Now that that's in position, we'll go ahead and remove the engine. Just takes a little bit of wiggling, yes. and there it goes. Oopsie daisy. Now we need to get the chassis up on blocks or better yet jack stands so while michael gets the jack up i'll go ahead and get the jack stand underneath now we need to remove the cross member bars this is much easier with an impact i noticed that if you turn the wheels it moves this power steering pump and squirts this power steering fluid out of the pump. So for the bend, we measured 42 inches from where we're going to bend. And we're going to go ahead and cut the chassis or the frame right through here with the plasma cutter.
with the frame cut in half, we can go ahead and remove the front half of the uh, frame here. And we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. And you can see we've already gone ahead and cut a couple notches. That's where we're going to make the bends. And we'll just get the front axle out of the way. We might save this front axle for a future project. Uh, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to see what we do with that. So with those notches cut, it was super easy to bend these in. As you can see, we did it by hand uh, to start. It gets harder. Damn. Cool. And as you can see, it's coming together pretty straight. Now we just got to remove the exhaust, the drive uh, shaft, and here we'll go ahead and remove the drive shaft, and you can also see the fuel pump there. We'll go ahead and remove that. This truck came with the fuel tank already removed, so we didn't have to remove that. To pull this together, it was much easier to use a tire strap, or an axle strap in this case. So we went ahead and measured four inches down, that's about center, and we're going to go ahead and cut notches to fit this uh, ball part right into here. But first we got to remove this little thing here. Michael go ahead, goes ahead and grinds the metal to get a good contact with the plasma cutter. And Josh goes ahead and notches out the notches for the ball hitch now using a plasma cutter. The plasma cutter is definitely the fastest and easiest way to do this. If you have to, you can use a grinder. It is good to use a grinder either way just to clean things up at the end. And the test fit, everything's looking really good. Everything looks super straight and we'll go ahead and tack it in. Now you'll notice that we're using a stick welder in the beginning here. We ended up picking up a MIG welder about halfway through this project. Highly recommend it. Made the project so much faster. So there's some of the stick welds. Now you'll see the MIG welder come out. And there's the MIG. And it's done. Well, there, 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 there. All over there. Some practice welds on the top. And before we finish this, we did fill in those holes. But yeah, all the corners, they're all welded together. Everything's straight and solid. Now for the test run. And as you can see, this trailer is pulling perfectly. Now my truck has a 3 inch lift to it, but a small drop hitch might be required just to get this to ride perfectly level. But it's not too bad as it is. Now we've still got some more work to do with this, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see uh, us finishing this trailer. We'll go ahead and wire in the taillights, we'll add a trailer jack, a rear bumper, and yeah and let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel like this video and be sure to leave a comment
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you. Ready to take your motorsports action photography to another level? Meet the Hitch Stick. A receiver mounted camera monopod, designed to give you a third person low camera angle similar to what's popular in video games. Hitch Stick is made in America and easily installs in any receiver hitch. Built of durable steel with a high clearance angle that won't impede on your approach angles or a dolly out shot for an interesting new perspective for motorsports action photography. Hitch stick. Capture everything.